I have an opportunity to look at my past, my present, and my future. That's what whole genome sequencing does for you. It tells you your genetic, your history, but then it also tells you where you are in this moment. What are you predisposed to? Then based off of that, you can make predictions on what your future will look like. Knowing that information on the front end, instead of being reactive to it, that's why this is so personal to me. Preventative access can create a domino effect on the rest of your health. So oftentimes, if you don't have prevention or just screenings, which are done, um, you fall by the wayside. And unfortunately, underserved communities are not getting the preventative and screenings that they should be. Prevention and just insights would be important going forward. So genomic sequencing is the first step to give us these insights and to help us to know what's going on, you know, at the cellular level. The mission for Indigenous is, is really to drive precision health equity. We understand um, now the magnitude of what diversity means as we move forward into the world of precision medicine. We're not going to be able to go back and fix the drugs that are on the market but these new therapeutic areas are pretty brand new where we don't have to start off where we left off, but we could actually build something that could be a lot more inclusive. Indigenous AI is, is really leveraging multiple technologies uh, for the benefit of traditionally underserved and underrepresented populations. First of being next generation sequencing and whole genome sequencing. And it holds the key to what's driving disease or their risk for disease later on in life. Second technology that we're utilizing is artificial intelligence and machine learning. As of October 6, 2022, the Cures Act has given every citizen free access to their digital health records from anywhere they receive care. And this is important because this technology is able to tease out insights from this data in combination with the genetic data and other family health history data that we collect. And the last technology that we're leveraging is blockchain technology to secure an individual's data and give them the control and management and also the transparency into who's viewing and utilizing their data to facilitate trust from populations who have historically not had a great deal of confidence or trust in the medical system. The patients will now own the data. Uh, this has never been done in healthcare and oftentimes big pharmaceutical companies are profiting from data from all of us. And so at Indigenous, we wanna give that ownership to the individuals. And so they'll be able to sell their data if they wish and then produce actionable insights from this data, which will help them and many others to come. We've created a, a platform where individuals can bring their genetic data as well as their health data and securely store it and have control over that data and control who has access to it. This will give them the opportunity to participate in research projects if they so choose and or potentially clinical trials. We see that the overwhelming majority of participants in those trials have been Caucasian males. Without a diverse population or a diverse set of participants, there, be, there can be some adverse reactions or some toxicities that get missed that occur in certain populations that don't occur in others. We at Indigenous are helping to improve uh, research and improve diversity within research by getting samples of people that are indigenous to the land, whether they're black, brown, Pacific Islander. Um, we're getting insights on all ethnic groups. And, and so we can aggregate the data and get very significant insights on treating those groups going forward. But we can't be looking at precision medicine as a localized public health crisis. This is now a global mission. And so Indigenous was set up that way. So we are looking to expand in Africa quite quickly, in South Africa, Ghana, and Kenya, simultaneously as we are here in the U.S. So right now Indigenous is at that first phase where we're trying to create a repository on the blockchain that will encompass large data set of women, minorities, so that we'll have a reference library, so that we'll have better understanding of how some of these disease areas are evolving 
and how indigenous could evolve and be ahead of whether it's the pandemic pathogens or uh, looking at new disease um, targets and gene targets that we could come up with better efficacious drugs globally. I am. I am. I am. I am indigenous AI.